Hey guys, Paul here. So, Brandon Curry won the Arnold Classic. Um, uh, Brand, I, I love Brandon's physique. I know there's some controversy over you know whether William Bonac looked better or not. William has a fabulous physique too. I, I honestly, I don't know how you. I, I, I don't envy the judges. They, they, these, uh, these guys are so little difference between all of them. They're all, they're all superb, and, and really, you're, you're judging minutia at, at that level of bodybuilding. Um, I'm going to take a look at it today. I'm going to give you my opinion on you know, the various uh, mandatories and what I think. Um, you know, for what that's worth, it doesn't mean shit, but <laughs> you know, I'll give you my two cents on, on it. But we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at it today. Before we do so, please take the time to subscribe to my channel. It's the best way you can show your appreciation for all this awesome content I'm putting out. Hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. If you have question, comments, or you disagree with my opinion and think I'm a moron, put it in the comment section below. If you want to get in contact with me, uh, my contact information is in the video description. I am at Paul K. Barnett on Instagram. Uh, you can also email me at bigp3rd at gmail.com. Uh, okay, so... Um, th th this is from prejudging. I could not find, and I, don't, I guess they don't have them up yet, but the, the comparison shots from the finals. Um, so um, it, it looked like in prejudging they had uh, Justin Rodriguez in fourth place, So and he ended up fifth, I believe. So the top three were Brandon, um, William Bonac, and uh, Steve Kuklo. Steve Kuklo is kind of like the little engine that could. And, and nobody, nobody ever considers him you know there was you know there was all these people brett wilkin and samson duda and all these other guys that um people thought would be in, in the top that or justin rodriguez that that, that that weren't there and then there, there's good old steve kuklo again in the top three um he just he just shows up looks great and every year so the man keeps on going. Um, so for, first shot here, front double bicep. To, to, to me, you know, I've seen Brandon Curry in person. Um, and, you know, th these things are really hard to judge from photos. Um, these guys, y y you really can't, can't, um, can't evaluate these guys fairly unless you see, the, see them in person. And I, and I will say Brandon Curry um, when you see him up close, his his arms, he's just round and his arms pop like nobody I've ever seen. He, I think he has the best, my opinion, has the best arms in bodybuilding. Not taking anything away from William William Bonac, but um, uh, Brandon Brandon's arms are, are fantastic. And I, I think the front double bicep, to me, he looks the best at the front double bicep. Um, the, you know, his, his downfall has always been, been the legs. The legs are not as separated or as developed as William Bone. Actually, you have to give the legs to William, William Bonac. Um, and you know, Steve Kuklo, he looks like a giant compared to the next time. I think Steve Kuklo is like my height. I think he's like uh six one. These other guys are short. Brandon's pretty, sh pretty short. I've seen, I've seen him in person. I don't know. Five, nine. I think they say he's five ten, but I don't, I, he didn't look five ten to me. Um, so, uh, let's see what we got here next. Uh, front lat spread. Um, to me, you know, you know, William's front lat spread isn't that great. I'll be honest with you. It, it, I, people are going to yell at me for that, but he doesn't, his lats don't really pop that much. Really. I think Steve Kuklo looks the best from, from, from this one, but that's my two cents. Uh, once again, I, I just can't get, you know, William's legs are the best out of anybody's up there. Hands down, he's got everybody on legs. His legs are separated. They're full. Um, they look fantastic. I'm not really sure what Steve Kuklo is doing with his pose. Maybe he was in the middle of it, uh, moving from one position to the other. Um, side chest. Um, this is another one here to me. This and I like the way Brandon looks from the, from the side chest. Although William has some crazy thickness in his legs and glutes. It's, it, once again, I mean, you can see over here, the separation between his quads and his glutes are ridiculous. And his hamstrings, just absolutely fucking ridiculous. Um, you know, he definitely beats Brandon there, but there's something funky going on with his chest. I don't know if he tore his pec or something along the way, uh, but he's got like this divot in here. 
Um, it looks like maybe he had a pack tear at some point. You know, usually when you see that on guys, they had a pack tear somewhere along the way. Um, I don't know, but I, I do like Brandon from the side chest. I mean, Steve Kuklo looks huge compared to the rest of these guys. That he, I'm sure he is. Uh, rear double bicep. Uh, to me, this one is Bonac all the way. Bonac's glutes are just ridiculous. Um, you know, his back development is ridiculous from the, from the back. It, it, I don't know. Brandon, I mean, Brandon looks pretty good up top. Brandon's upper body is what wins it for him, usually. But, um, you know, Williams... It, one thing I have to laugh at at Brandon, he's got some tiny little calves. When when I met him, he, I think my calves are bigger than his. I guess they don't care about calves when you're that big up top uh, and that developed. But he 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 doesn't have very big calves for 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 an Olympia competitor. Um, a rear lat spread. Um, for me, once again, this one is Brandon for me. Um, I think Brandon looks the best here. Although, again, William Bonac with his glute, his glutes are fucking ridiculous. I've never seen. I mean, Jesus Christ, man! You, you you can park a car on top of that that shelf back there. They're they are absolutely insane. Um, dude's got some crazy glutes. Um, side tricep for me, I give this one to William. Um, I like that pose too. You know, he's got big calves and this, you know, you see here how small, really all three of these guys, the calves aren't that great. But, um, William has the best calves out of everybody. And when you pop that rear leg out, if you have big calves, popping that rear leg out highlights how big your, big your calves are. If you're not, you want to hide them and do the traditional front leg up. Um, side tricep, you know, that, that's a little trick there for you guys. So if you have big calves and you want to separate yourself, that's a way to do it. The only thing I don't like about that pose is that you have to get low to, to, to do it. So it makes you look shorter than what you are. Um, so you can see how small, I mean, William's a small guy anyway, short guy. Uh, he looks even smaller doing it that way. Uh, he didn't catch him in a good position here, so I can't really... Evaluate what William looked like on this. Uh, Brandon looks great. I'm not really sure. I mean, he has a really good midsection. Probably the best midsection out of all the dudes. Um, once again, his legs. His legs are just weird. There's just, like, really not much separation in his quads. And um, his vastus medialis is kind of underdeveloped, which is odd to me. Um, there, there's just something weird going on there. One thing I don't like that he does, uh, he's he kind of stands with his legs parallel. I, I feel like if he got himself turned just a little bit, pop that front leg out a little more up front and pull this one back, it would give him more of a narrow look. But he's got the tightest waist. He's got the best V you can see here out of all the guys. That's the knock on William. He's kind of got a wide waist, but... You know, Steve Kuklo is just a big dude. He's, he's you know, he's over six foot, I believe. Um, most muscular. I don't know. This one's tough. I, for me, I think, um, I, I think William wins this one. Steve's a big dude. He looks good in the, in, in the crab. I'm not a big fa fan of the crab. Most muscular. I, I just don't. So see, like you, you look like you look at a big guy like Steve. He looks the same size as the rest of these guys when he does a crab. He's all he's all bunched up. I feel like if he did the standing up most muscular like William and Justin here, he would probably look bigger. The, the, it's one thing I'll tell you, guys that want to compete, uh, young guys, is practice your fucking posing, man. I can't tell you how many competitions are won and lost on posing. Uh, po posing will, will separate you from, from, from the rest. You can look great. And if you can't pose and show it off correctly, uh, you're going to lose. I mean, so, so like the example here, Steve, he, he's like, he's like almost a foot taller than, than <laughs> William Bonac. And he makes himself look the same size as William here. I, I would, I don't know. Just my two cents. I would stand up and make myself look, look gigantic compared to these guys. Um, I, I think that has to have a subconscious impre pressure. You know, so overall, you know, uh, 
I didn't look at the scorecards. I don't know how close it was. Um, you know, and I think a lot of times they give the benefit to the of the doubt to the guy who's, you know, Mr. Olympia. You know, William looks great. I, you know, I for anybody who feels like William should have won, I, you know, I can't argue against that. I, you know, it's it's just really close. I I don't know. I like the way Brandon's physique flows better. But that's just my opinion. I mean, they're both. This is definitely the best I think Williams ever looked, um, at least from what I've seen. Um, you know, he he has a fantastic physique. I don't know what happened to Justin Rodriguez. I I, I didn't see the final night. I, I heard some people say he like chowed down on some cheeseburgers or something. It came in soft uh, the final night. And you know, Reagan Grimes. Everybody was you know hyping him up coming in. And I I saw the pictures of him and. He like on Instagram a week or so out, he looked great and he just did not look good. You know, he just I don't know, he wasn't sharp. I don't know what happened. I don't know if something went to shit with, with his food or sometimes it just stuff happens, man. Your body just doesn't respond the way you want it to respond, but something happened. Um I know Milos likes to pound the carbs and insulin going in, and the the problem with that is is if you fuck it up, you spill over. Yeah, you know, if you if you push, you know, you can push it only so far until you spill over. So that that's the issue with pushing carbs and insulin. It, it can make you look very full. It can also make you fucking spill over. So that's the that's the gamble you take. Um, at the end, I don't know, but uh, you know, I you you really can't argue with either Brandon or or William being in first place. I think both of them both of them were equally deserving a first place i i would give this to me personally i would give the slight edge to brandon and i i thought brandon deserved it but you know i you if if you told me that william won i i wouldn't hate hate that result either and steve kuklo like i said again he's he's a little engine that could or a little big engine that could i don't know but he just keeps showing up he keeps he keeps doing his thing and he keeps placing high in the in these shows when people count him out every fucking year. They don't, you know. So I got to give it to the guy. He 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 does it right. Uh, he's always in condition. He's big. Um, he makes the most of his genetics. And and you know I think this was about as good as he could possibly show up. I, if if I were him, I would be very very happy with the result. I know nobody ever likes you know everybody wants to win and everybody thinks at that level thinks they're the best guy on the stage, but I would be very happy with that result. I, I, there's, you know, at, at the end of the day, the competition, I know this is cliche, but the competition is with yourself it is knowing that you did everything you possibly could and coming out there in the best condition that you possibly can come in, uh, given the set of circumstances that you're under, you know, knowing that you didn't fuck up, that you did everything correctly and and the rest is up to fate you know if you do that then you can't be mad about anywhere you place if you know you've done everything within your power to win and and done it perfectly th that that's to me that's the victory uh you know you can't fight other people's genetics and other outlying factors that you know that are uh, outside of your control but anyway guys that's my thoughts on it you know Take it for what it's worth. I'm just, I'm just an armchair quarterback here. I am a bodybuilder enthusiast and fan. Um, that's my two cents on it. Take care.